Welcome to Flash Tutorial 17, Mouse Wheel Scroll. I'm going to start a new FLA. I'm keeping the Action Script 3, Width 550, Height 400, and my background is white. Now you can do this tutorial by uh, drawing a, a picture. Make sure the picture is longer than the or higher than the Y of the stage, otherwise there's not much sense in having a scroll. Um, or you can import a, an image, uh, a picture, and make sure its vertical is higher than the height of our stage, and our stage is 400. So I'm going to find my image. They call it importing, so click File, Import, and the two options that I got are I can import it to the stage or the, to the library. If I import it to the library, it goes to the library only. If I import it to the stage, it goes to both the stage and the library, which I will do. There it is. There's my picture, my image. You can just search through it, find it, your image, double click, and it puts it in my library. If I open my library, it's in here. It's called Lake. The first thing I'm going to do is right click select it all, go up here to modify and I'm going to what's called break it apart and you see all that little fuzzy. While it's highlighted I get those cross hairs, see those cross hairs, right click convert it to a symbol, make sure movie clip is selected, make sure this center registration is selected, not here but the center, see this, and call it lake. L-A-K-E, or whatever your picture is, underscore M-C. I would call it Lake till I got the um, tutorial working, then I would change the name if I needed to. Copy that, because we're going to write code, and we need to have a name, instance name. It's still highlighted. I can see this little cross here, and I can see this blue around it. Open the Properties panel. There it is, Movie Clip, movie clip Lake underscore M-C, and type it in or paste it in for an instance name. While it's selected, I just want to make sure it's centered. It, it probably is, because I think when you import it, it goes to the center of the stage, but I want to make sure. I'm going to open my alignment panel. If you don't have your alignment panel docked anywhere, open up Window and click Alignment. Make sure this align to stage is, is uh, checked. Click here and click here. And that's aligned it to the center. Mine obviously wasn't, so now it is. call this picture PIC, this layer pick down here, lock this layer so we don't touch it anymore, click right here, insert a layer, and call this action script AS, open the actions panel, mine's docked here, if yours is not docked here, go up to window and click actions, and your action panel opens up, and type, 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 type this code. We're going to start off with an event listener, stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, turns blue if it's spelt right, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, mouse event, capital M, capital E, turns blue, period. Mouse underscore wheel, all uppercase capitals, mouse underscore wheel, comma, and I'm calling it scroll. You can call it anything you wish here, as long as it doesn't change colors. I'm calling it scroll, S-C-R-O-L-L -L with a capital S. Close bracket, and a semicolon. Come down a couple spaces, write function. Here we're going to call that scroll function up. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Copy the word scroll, paste it in there. Open bracket, little e, colon, Copy mouse event, mouse event, paste it in, close bracket, colon, void, void the same color as function. There's an open curly bracket, and as you start typing here, you'll get a closed curly bracket. There's mine. And inside the curly brackets is our function, lake underscore mc, that's that movie clip picture, period y, small y, equals, copy this, 
paste it in. It's equal to itself plus we're going to add something to it. And that's how it, how it moves. That's how it moves up or down the screen by telling the Y to be bigger or smaller. Plus open bracket E period delta small E period delta D-E-L-T-A small D turns blue. That's the multiplication sign. It's the uppercase of the let number 8. It's called an asterisk. And we're going to move it by 3 pixels. Uh, close bracket, semicolon. And just to see that that's doing its business, I got a trace, T-R-A-C-E. That turns blue. Open bracket, copy this E period delta, paste it in. Close bracket, semicolon. And there's my closed curly bracket. I'm just going to do a format and see if there's any obvious errors. Back to my timeline, back to my actions panel, and let's test this. Control, test movie, test. Click one regular click. I'm pushing forward. It goes, I'm scrolling up. The machine is going down, but, but I'm, I'm seeing the higher part of the picture. And that means I'm adding to my, I'm adding to my Y. So the picture's going down, 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 down. That's adding to it. If I scroll, pull a wheel forward, I'm decrementing by three, and my picture Y axis is going up. But in both cases, I can keep going and take it right off the page, and I don't want to do that. So I'm back on my action code. Um, I don't want to see this anymore, but I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm clicking in front of this line in two forward slashes, clicking at the end of it, a couple enters, and type, 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 type this code. I got two forward slashes. I'm saying limit the movement. The two forward slashes tells the computer when you're running this program, don't look at these lines. And here I'm doing an if. IF, open bracket, open bracket. E period delta. Delta turns blue. Greater than zero. And and. That's the and for stand. That's the upper case of the number seven. And and. Lake underscore MC. That's our movie clip. Period Y. The Y axis. Less than 400. Close bracket. These are called pikes. Pike, pike. There's two of them. They are the uppercase of the backslash that's on the on the top row of your keyboard where the numbers are to the right hand side that's called the pike on my keyboard it's just to the left of my um, back button okay open bracket e period delta less than zero ampersand ampersand lake underscore mc period y Greater than zero, close bracket, close bracket. Now, what does this mean? It means if the delta is positive, that means I'm adding, that's what that means. If it's greater than zero, it must be a positive number. So if delta is positive, and at the same time, I've gone to the point of where my lake movie clip is still less than 400, then I want, I, I want to continue to move it. That's moving it down, 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 down. On the other hand, or, so that's going to allow something to happen, or, that's what that means, this condition will allow something to happen. In, in other words, if the delta is less than zero, that means it's going less than, less than, less than, less and less and less because I'm, I'm scrolling and making my, my movie clip go, go up the page. And, and, again, and, and. The lake movie clip period Y is greater than zero. That means I haven't reached it yet. Close bracket, close bracket. So what this is saying is, am I all the way down or all the way up? In either case, if those are true and I'm not all the way, make the lake movie clip move. If either of these are true, I must be all the way to these limits and don't make this true anymore. And what is true is, if you want to just copy this line here, copy it, paste it in, there it is. 
There's a closed curly bracket for this open curly bracket here. There's an open curly bracket here, closed curly bracket here. And what I did was I cut that trace and brought it down here. So let's test this out. Now scroll and click it, forward and forward and forward. And before I would continue to go, now I'm stopping. If I go down, before it would continue and I could actually take it off, now it's stopping. So that's good. Let's go back to the action script. The next change I want to do is instead of putting the stage size in here as a as a fixed number, as a number, I'm going to remove that and type in this code. Type, 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 type. Stage, small s, S-T-A-G-E, period, stage height, small s, capital H, and that should turn all blue if it's spelled right. So now instead of, if we actually change the height of the stage or don't know the height of the stage, this will rectify that for us. The second thing I want to do is, let's go to the top of the page, click here, couple enters, couple arrow ups, and type this code, type, 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 type. We're making, let's call the variable, V-A-R, space. I'm calling it scroll speed, capital S, capital S. This is how fast it's, it's going to, to move. Colon, number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R. And as you start typing this in, a menu, a drop menu will come. And eventually the word number will be highlighted. You can either click enter or you can type it out through. Equals three, make it three. Semicolon. Copy this name. I click copy it and stick it in here paste and we don't need this delta trace anymore so let's two forward slashes here let's test it out uh, because we have it set at three because we have the speed set at three it should be exactly the same as what it was test movie test click it and now I scroll and that's exactly what we had before so let's make a change. And you can say, well, what's the difference here? Well, you may have several things being using this number, this variable scroll speed. And if you had several, you'd have to go through and find all those numbers. Well, this way here, I can just change the one number and all of them will change. So let's make it 0.5 if, if it'll take that. So this is going to be quite slow, 0.5. Control, test, movie, test. Click on it and see that's much slower. Now, if for some reason you've do, done all this and it still doesn't want to work, uh, something you can just try is sometimes you have to import these, what's called classes, I believe what they're called. So type in this, this code here. Import, I-M-P-O-R-T, small i turns purple. Flash, period, events, small f, small e, that all turns blue. Period, mouse event, capital M, capital E, that turns blue, semicolon. Uh, it works without, without it for me, but um, sometimes you need to use this. I, I think it's if you're publishing it. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.